Those who are the student of social sciences must be aware of the construct validity and one construct validity meaning whether that construct mean what it is supposed to mean or not. So, that is the construct validity and construct validity is not only look is established not only by looking at the correlations of this construct with other constructs the construct validity is also established by looking at the opposite constructs. So, in order to understand the human potentiality, the positive human potentialities of the human being, we also need to understand the negative potentialities or negative properties. These negative properties are called Asuri Sampada. Why it is called Asuri Sampada? Asuri, the word uh, come through two roots. Actually, we can understand Asur, Asur in two ways first way is the as dhatu the as the the root word uh, fighting shouting in the anger or throwing away something or uh, hitting someone so those who are engaged in these kind of behavior fighting shouting uh, snatching those are asur so these are the asuri sampada asur is also a term used for disharmony because sur meaning harmony so, asur meaning disharmony. So, those who create disharmony in the world and those who have disharmony within both are called asuras. So, what are the asuri sampada? That is also required because without understanding asuri sampada, we cannot understand uh, daivi sampada, the divine qualities which we just uh, uh, touched upon and discussed in the previous slide. What are the Asuri Sampada? Dambho Darpo Bhimanascha Kurodha Parushya Mevacha. Only six. These are the five, and sixth one is Agyan. Dambho Darpo Bhimanascha Kurodha Parushya Mevacha Agyanam Chabi Jatasya Partha Sampadam Masurim. Dambha Darpa Kurodha Parushyam Agyan. These are the six Asuri Sampada. We can consciously inculcate the human potentiality, the positive characteristics or positive properties, divine properties which we looked at in the previous slide. We can also consciously work to remove these negative qualities. In both ways, we can attain the true human potentiality. In both ways, we can not only realize our swadharma, but we can thrive in our life. Because when we identify swadharma, when we identify what is my aptitude and also identify how can I offer it to the world to maintain the world, uh, world order, how can I offer it to enhance the harmony in the world, then my life also get harmonized within and without. So, these six qualities are Dambha, Darpa, Abhimana. What is Dambha? Dambha meaning hypocrisy. Dambha meaning that which you are expected to do, for that you are showing off. So, showing off even for what is your natural expected behavior, so, that is Dambha. I have to listen music, I can do that, but if I uh, play it at very high volume, that is Dambha. I have to do the customer service, I have to teach students, I have to uh, uh, do my project, but even for doing my project, even for doing my normal work, expected work, I am showing off, that is Dambha. Darpa, when show off, combines with arrogance. Darpa is also not showing off what we have done. Darpa is also showing off and arrogantly showing off our power, our connections, 
our references, our uh, possessions. So, darp is being extra ostentatious, making others feel small. That behavior is darp. That is why darp also means bad order. Damba, darpa, abhimana. Abhimana is breaching the limits of self esteem. We always, we we have to have self esteem that meaning we need to have confidence on whatever we are doing. We should not start questioning our self concept just at every stage in every conversation. We should not feel that. However, crossing that genuine limit, crossing the rational reasonable limit of self esteem is abhimana that is conceit. Krodha is the fourth uh, Asuri Sampad that comes from the root word krudh that means losing balance. So, krodha means losing internal balance in even small unfavorable situation or unfavorable behavior. Someone has done something, I am, ma I am a manager even the small aberration in the behavior of my subordinate make me disturbed, make me hyper that is krodha. So, not losing out balance when something happens or when something takes place in front of us which is not favorable that is krodha. Krodha generally arises from my attachment or moha. We need to control that, that also has to be regulated. It has its utility, but it has to be regulated. And again, what is the criteria for regulation? The criteria for regulation is dharma and swadharma, whether it is causing abhyudaya and nishreyas and whether it is according to my aptitude and my way of contributing to the world, these are the supreme criteria against which I need to regulate my krodh. Purusham is harshness. Some people have natural tendency to use harsh words for others even without any apparent reasons. This is more verbal expression of krodh and many times it is quality in itself. Many time people use abusive words, abusive language even without krodha. So, that is the fifth uh, uh, asuri sampada, parushyam, harshness, abuse. Using abusive language last but probably the basis of all these five is ajnanam and probably that is why uh, ajnanam is put up in the second line of the shloka. Ajnanam is ignorance and we have seen that what is the gyan, the ultimately gyan is the recognition and experience of oneness of life. Yoga means that which joins, that which reconnects, otherwise this world is all connected. The origin of this universe started with the one point and then it manifested in the diverse forms and the diverse qualities and properties were acquired by these diverse forms. Not recognizing that and not experiencing that, that is ajnana. And when I distinguish myself from others, when I do not experience oneness with others, then naturally dambaha, darpaha, abhimanaha, krodhaha, parushyam occur in our life. That is why Ajnana is the foundation of all the Asuri Sampada. So, here we saw Daivi Sampada and Asuri Sampada are the very elaborate detailed exposition of human potentialities and human positivity.